Hello and welcome you crazy cycling lovers. My name is Ruslan Mikhailan and you're watching Skinny Spinner's YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a look at stage 5 of Tour de Cartan 2019 which is called Burgen Runde. Before we start as usual make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, also don't forget to like this video, it does really help the channel and the video itself. Today unfortunately we're not gonna watch the real live video as usual because they've changed their policy and there is no way to download the videos at this point but we have Strava for that. So the first climb it's called Gurktelstrasse climb. Total distance is around 4 kilometers with the average gradient of 7%. The total elevation gain is around 270 meters and highest point is around 930 meters above sea level. Second climb starts in Strasbourg, finishes in Gunzenberg. The total distance is 6.6 .6 kilometers. Total elevation gain is 374 meters with the average gradient of 6%. The highest point is around 1080 meters above the sea level. And the last climb of the day, the name is Magdalensberg climb, second category climb, total distance 8.74 kilometers with the elevation gain of 578 meters average gradient is 7% epic guys if you're still not following me on Strava Facebook and Instagram I've left the links down below in the description will be highly appreciated if you subscribe and follow so let's get back to the race 14 kilometer the official start was on the 12 kilometers or so so this is basically the first kilometers after the official start as you can see in the bunch I was starting in group B and right away after the official start I made it to the group A this is the first climb Gurktelstrasse 3 climb 2.6 kilometers this is the first part 7% average gradient total elevation gain 186 meters after that there is a small flat part and the second part of the climb which is 1.3 kilometers 87 meters elevation gain and again 7% gradient average gradient it took me around 13 minutes to finish this climb with the average wattage of around 230 8 watts. After the first climb of the day we had a long downhill with an average gradient of uh, negative 1, maybe negative 2% with the slight hills along the way. So you can see the group is pretty stretched, around maybe 50 to 70 riders in this bunch. Pretty beautiful places I would say. Almost all the stages are going um, along this road because it's really pretty picturesque, the road is good, the rivers, the canyon, the trees, everything is beautiful. Another moment where I'm going on the left side of the road and it gets a bit dangerous. Here we are entering the tunnel, pretty dark here, pretty wet obviously, left turn and the car is going towards me. so. Don't do it guys, don't act stupid, don't be skinny spinner during the races, please. 49 km of the day and we are in Strasbourg and we are about to start the second climb of the day. As you can see I am trying to move towards the head of the group. I want to be in the first 10 or 20 people before we hit the climb. That way I'm not uh, gonna care about overtaking people or sometimes, you know, someone 
has the problem with gears and that way you're pretty safe that you're not gonna lose the time overtaking people or maybe stuck in some traffic. So Strasbourg to Gunzenberg, 6.6 kilometers long, has the average gradient of 6% with the spikes up to 10 to 12 even percent. I averaged 232 watts and I kept this wattage during 22 minutes and 34 seconds with the average speed of 17.6 kilometers per hour. As you can see some people are just flying up this climb but I am keeping the steady pace over here 280 sometimes even I hit 330 watts but only you know short spikes during the switchbacks or so. Not only my legs were dead during this stage, as you can see, the quark power meter turned off, showing zero watts and the cadence is a bit crazy, but after two minutes or so, it uh, turned on itself and continued to provide me with such valuable data, especially during the climbs. By the way, after the first race, when I was starting in group A, I was dropped to group B, as you already know, and all other stages I was starting with these girls in front of me, this in the pink and blue jersey, then the green jersey and yellow jersey. So they are the race leaders for the women's classification and they are so strong. I really would like to see Anne Basic racing with this girl someday. We'll see, maybe we'll make that happen. So as you can see the pace is a bit higher right now, so they've dropped this girl in yellow jersey and now there are only two of them fighting against each other on this climb and also they do have Gregory's with them, the guys from the same team and it's really really interesting to just to watch them struggle here, race each other. I really enjoyed that during all the stages I uh, raced with them actually. Hitting here 400 watts, I need to get back to this group in front of me because afterwards uh, there will be descent and again you don't want to be alone uh, during the descent. So you see that I am actually spiking my heart rate here 175 and going up plus the watts were pretty crazy 400 watts. Here is the small descent around maybe one kilometer and there will be the last part of the climb. Uh, so again, I'm trying to be with the group. On the left side is Andrei Mihaev from Russia. Actually with him we were racing just back to back, wheel to wheel and finished uh, with the gap maybe five places in the general classification or so. At this point we have around 200 meters left till the second climb of the day is finished and I had to hit here again for 100-350 watts to get over this mountain top and the uh, third actually descent of the day will start very soon. Around 50 meters to the top of the climb and there is a foot point. I managed to get the banana, a small piece of banana, ate it right away and started the descent. The road was pretty bad, maybe the first 500 meters or so was like that. I was really happy that I had the tubeless tires because I run lower pressure and it's more comfortable than for example using the tubular wheels or even the just the wheel with the tube. So you can see the left uh, switch back over here, my line is pretty bad, everyone is overtaking me, got a sprint here to 400 watts to keep up with this guy in front of me and still they are gapping me so bad. So each descent I'm losing like around 10 to 15 places in the general classification which is pretty bad. I think I really need to do something about my descent skill, maybe, I don't know, maybe just be more confident. I have to actually do the same lines as the guys who are faster than me. Here was pretty good line, I think. You can see this guy in the red in front of me was uh, a bit slow because he took a very bad line and almost hit the deck. So I overtook him and uh, tried to catch this guy in blue in front of me. So now the 
fun part starts the high speed and the small turns left to right actually in the forest pretty beautiful place here in Austria 70 kilometers per hour and pedaling the cadence is over 120 sometimes here is in error position 100% and just enjoying the enjoying the downhill you can see my chin and my nose on the top of the screen meaning that i am i'm doing like sagan style over here but not pedaling like through me still because i am like 57 58 kilograms over here i cannot catch the guy so i'm sprinting 600 watts over here trying to get to the guys in front of me with no luck we are almost done with the descent over here there will be the left turn right now and the right turn and the descent is done you can see the group is in front of me maybe 200 meters and here i had to sprint really hard because i wanted to stay with the guys because there will be pretty hard and windy flat part in front and uh, you gotta be with the group so I'm uh, really struggling over here you can see that the actually the heart rate is not that hard because I was pretty tired but finally I managed to get to the guys and the last uh, kilometers before the third climb we were riding together just resting um, spinning easily in the group and here it is the last climb of the day which is called Magdalensberg climb let's see the data it is 8.8 .8 kilometers long with a total elevation gain of 578 meters average gradient is 7% it's the second category climb it took me 32 minutes and 41 seconds to get to the top and the average speed was 16.1 kilometers per hour average watts 224 watts which was not really bad considering the fifth day of racing as you can see again i'm back to riding with the girls over here in front of me and uh, we have around three kilometers maybe a bit more to the top and everyone is hydrating eating because the climb is pretty pretty hard okay so let's take a look at the top 10 on this climb in Strava so you can see the first place is taken by X Pro World Tour racer Johnny Hugerland and it took him 24 minutes and 20 seconds to make it to the top and uh, the average speed was 21.6 kilometers per hour the interesting thing that on the 8th place of this ranking you can see Dmitry Murashko from Russia who is like over 50 years old and it took him um, what 26 seconds and 42 minutes with the average speed of 19.6 kilometers per hour so pretty crazy considering the age of the guy but he is really strong he is really strong I think he won the general classification of this tour department but I may be mistaken okay back to me you can see again I'm riding with the girls this is my level over here we're trying to get this group in front of us and you can see that the guys are dropping because it's pretty hard the switchbacks and the gradients six seven percent take a look on the left this guy is just flying up this mountain i don't know how he does that this is not the first time that he overtakes pretty fast on the climbs and right here i'm pretty cooked 175 beats per minute i'm trying to maintain the high cadence not to kill my legs because there are still like around two kilometers to go or so maybe a bit less and it took me around five to eight maybe minutes to finish this two kilometers and you will see why right now i didn't really expect that there will be so steep climb and you can see 12% gradient I am grinding out of the saddle the cadence is up to 70 rpms here is I'm trying to overtake this guy not to 
lose the momentum and just to keep the steady pace but now again in the saddle just grinding hard you can see the guys are just zigzagging in front of me I was laughing inside because it was pretty funny looking at guys just zigzagging in front of me but the last 500 or maybe 400 meters I was doing actually the same because I was so done, I was so cooked, my legs were fully empty and I had no choice but to, to do the same zigzagging on the last uh, meters of the race. Here is what I'm doing left to right, you can see that the speed is 10 km per hour, the cadence is so low, 68 rpms, the heart rate is 180 beats per minute gradient 11 percent and everybody is just suffering this guy on the left just giving it all and we have around i don't know 500 meters to go 16 15 percent gradient just crazy so there is the sign in front of me let's see what is the number yes 500 meters to go as you can see and it did feel like forever to climb this last 500 meters 8 percent gradient i was starting to change the position of the bike maybe 20 seconds out of the saddle then back in the saddle again and trying to increase the cadence but the maximum i could get from that was like 75 rpms the last 200 meters of the race i'm overtaking as much guys as possible in order to move up in the general classification and the category as well so i'm just giving my best giving my last 50 meters to go the last turn of the day i am sprinting here out of the saddle hitting like 400 to 500 watts the heart rate is going up to 185 i think 90 second kilometer of the day and we have finished stage 5 of tour de cartonen 2019 is done and dusted this was the hardest race day of my life and i really did enjoy it i finished 66 in my category and 117th overall Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video, bye bye.